Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, thanks everybody for all the shares, all the support that we've been having on Spotify, on YouTube, on Facebook. We really appreciate that. Again, we do this um, to share knowledge, to share common knowledge of other entrepreneurs, other business owners, other men um, that have things in common. Um, we ask that you tag, you share this, and um, be able to get the word out there. If you have anybody that's interested in being on here, Go ahead and reach out to me and Luis. Uh, today is episode 11. Um, we broke the milestone last week. I'm very, very excited. Today we have Brandon Polk here. Brandon Polk of Conroe. Welcome. Thank you guys for having me. Good morning. So introduce yourself real quick. Give us a basic introduction. Also, I'm just a small-time business owner out here in Conroe trying to, uh, to help support other entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And uh, glad to be on your show this morning. Cool, cool, cool. So I see you have the Plus 40 Fitness hat on. Tell us a little bit about that. So uh, Plus 40 Fitness, uh, I've been uh, been there for probably like 10 years now. Uh, I've been owning it for five now. So right out of college, went to there being a personal trainer and saw that it was uh, for some older individuals. And I thought that was a cool concept. And uh, when the old owner phased out, I was the guy gradually just to take over. So bought the business or whatever. So mm. buying the business already the established was good definitely we kept all the clients and stuff like that and um, things are going well and plus for fitness it's a private personal training studio designed for people not trying to get lost in the shuffle of uh, mm -hmm. big gyms and stuff like that so uh, we over we have over 50 clients and um uh, hope to get 50 more right out of right. this interview with you guys right. there you <laughs> go there we go and that's the goal oh, that's right. the goal hundred thousand listeners there we go so you said you bought this you bought this already established business yes sir oh wow i, I um so a little better than starting from scratch right. with zero client zero yeah. doing that. so were you a trainer there already or yeah, oh. yes sir yeah so you already how long were you there before you said okay uh, um i see this opportunity i'm gonna take it probably uh five years like i oh, said and the own, mm -hmm. owner wanted out and uh i was there and the uh, clients already know me so mm -hmm. just gradually bought the place so. right Oh, wow. So that, that was a, a good transition for you. So you said you went to U of H. Did you take business? What, what, what was your major in, in U of H? It's a kinesiology and a minor was in health. And uh, I did, of course, take a business class and stuff like okay. that. I did a okay. political science for my minor for a while and uh, just didn't like all that stuff and how that was going over gotcha. there. So I just said, let me go with health. That's right. Okay. okay. So that's what got you first into to working there. And then based on the numbers and the clients that you saw you were like hey i i, I see this opportunity and i'm gonna take it absolutely and when i bought the business uh conroe courier said the uh, fastest growing city in the nation conroe so i said why wouldn't i want to start a business here so i mean just that was five five years ago right 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 so five years ago when you bought it right but how long was he in business 10 you said oh yeah he's this has probably been around since 2012 oh wow so yeah. it's been a while okay yeah. and then his goal was also the same thing you covered earlier where it was just 40 and above is the idea right he had a magazine plus 40 fitness magazine and all kind of stuff as well oh wow he was, so he was he was yeah he had covering the right all the bases right i think it was called a fitness express when he had it on 105 for a while and he changed the name to plus 40 fitness and that's when it really took off Okay. That Do you time. still take on clients that are under 40? Absolutely. Uh, this summer we worked with some kids trying to get stronger and stuff like that. I have one 33 right now who's going into the Navy. So mm -hmm. I, we're, I've been helping him get ready for that. Okay, okay, so, okay. yeah, you don't have to be. I always try to be the youngest one there, but as, okay. as I get older now, I'm starting to, I'm not the youngest one how, there. How, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'll be 37 on Saturday. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, so happy whenever you, oh, thank you, yeah, I think that it got, I just got to know you today, right? And I'm like, this guy is not over 40. Like, on because of your business, like, I, I made a lot of assumptions. Like, this guy's over 40. Only He's going to come in with gray hair. <laughs> no, right, right, right. but it's like, you don't look 40 in your pictures. And, of course, like, you're not. But, you know, there's a lot for, like, as a outsider that I didn't know, um, which was, like, you took over this business. Like, you became the owner. Um you know, you're not over 40, you take ev anybody under or over, you know, so it's like a new management that, you know, that you brought in. Right. And then we, we were at the that one location on 105 for all those years. And uh, mm -hmm. when I had the chance to move to this brand new facility that opened up in 2020, I mean, I was very excited. And I thought that that was the opportunity that we needed to continue to push Plus 40 Fitness. And 
I didn't know there was going to be a pandemic when I signed the paperwork <laughs> for that thing. So How was that? that? Well, um, we had to be shut down for a couple months right, or whatever. Right. And, I mean, I still had to come up with the rent at, the, at a Correct. brand new facility and all that stuff, too. So, I mean, we were lucky to get... PPPs and some small business stuff to keep us going and mm. we're not nowhere uh, we had a great 2019 and uh, we're trying to get we're almost at that level again we're okay. right in 2019 so okay okay awesome so what made you trans well you let me step back step back a little bit what was the difference between you were just a trainer there that you would just clock in clock out or whatever to now you're the owner so like how much more stress or how much what change in between there Oh, yeah, no one, uh, I like just doing the uh, fitness and being personal with people and stuff like that. And, like, I didn't know the aspects of owning the business as well. Like, that's a whole other uh, headache right there for right. sure, guys. Overhead insurance, the, you know, just the monthly stuff that it is to be a business owner, right? right. So uh, that was a whole other ball park. And uh, you were just hitting the head on as things came on. You're like, all right, now I got to learn this. Right. Now I got to learn that. At right. any time, were you like, man, I shouldn't have done this? No. No, no you, uh, there's there's no option to fail. So just I like uh, that. keep pushing, and uh, God has a plan for all of us. So uh, I don't have this. This isn't gonna fail. So correct, I don't correct. Know. Mm. There's not an option B. Right, and you have the the track record of those five years of like how it operated. So you knew like okay. I knew I there just was, have to stick with what works, and then that will work for. for right. Me. I mean, I knew the. Uh, I knew that there was a profitable business and i knew that we could make it a uh, even better than what it was mm -hmm. so uh, so i was excited to take over was the old o owner a lot older yeah yeah he was sure, a lot older sure. so you would come you came in with a fresh mind fresh ideas were you st barely out of school were you still right. in school right i was finishing up school and um also uh, yeah being older i feel like if you have a younger person there it's a different uh, it's a different, different different dynamic yeah different dynamic so like now i have another lady that trains w with me or whatever there and she's much older so like i feel an older lady so mm -hmm. like i feel like they like that too sometimes too correct, like offset correct. me mm -hmm. or whatever but i mean feel more comfortable maybe right or just okay. right so just to have two of us if maybe they like her or want to train with her more or whatever then i have that option as well gotcha and can anybody just go and get a membership and just go on a sunday afternoon or just scan in or how, oh, like how? i was saying earlier uh it's all private, so no. Um, it's all by appointment only. Okay. So okay. you can't walk in there on a Sunday and do it. So it's with you or the other lady. You set up an appointment and then. Just me right now, but yeah, just by appointment. Um, we have fitness classes, uh, yoga, Zumba, okay. a boot camp class as well. Okay. Are Those, you the, are you the only trainer right now? Right, the only one okay. right now. So uh, sometimes I get there at six and I leave at seven, and every thirty minutes I have an appointment. So. Was that twelve hours? Wow! There. So well, yeah, I leave. I get there when it's dark, and I leave when it's dark. So, yeah. uh, and that's usually the life of, of starting a business of an entrepreneur. Right. Like mm -hmm. everybody says, like, oh, it must be nice. You have your own business. Yeah, look at you. Wow, cool. It's easy. Right. So I'm sure you guys know. I mean, I'm like a lot of sleepless nights. I'm stressed about this. I'm stressed about right. that. And then you get up and just go to work and just keep it doing. Do it. Keep going. Keep man. going. That's Absolutely. good. That's good. So is the training method different? Like if you get a 30 year old 33 year old or if you get a 50 year old or is it just absolutely so my equipment's a little different right it's uh on air compression so it's oh, okay. less wear and tear in your joints so um it's on a hydraulic system from kaiser fitness and uh, we do a going slow method like you go to most gyms you know they want you to do three sets of 12 whatever right but uh mine's uh, on a time sequence and your muscles will uh fatigue and we're going for muscle failure in that time sequence that we're doing it so uh, that makes mm -hmm. me a little different or whatever so okay okay yeah. so i'm picturing so i think i've seen some of your videos in the machines on how they on how they work and how do you feel that's different do you use those same machines oh yeah I, those are those are great equipment and but the younger people like you were mentioning earlier uh, they uh they see the results a lot faster than older individuals mm. so uh but i mean you just stay consistent and you will Mm. you'll achieve your goal if you and and that's why it's specialized right that's why it's private because uh maybe your type of uh fitness wouldn't necessarily fit in a commercial gym because it wouldn't be able to scale that at that point right with all these different types of people that just want to like lift weights and run and Absol do cardio and absolutely. do all this, this crazy this stuff. more strength training mm. for sure but i mean we keep people uh away from surgeries i've seen like right. uh 
rotator cuff surgeries, like completely frozen shoulders. Like they just worked up with me six months, and, like avoided the shoulder, the shoulder surgery at wow. all. Like, so stuff yeah. like that. That's really cool. And uh, we've been able to do stuff like that. So I have an issue. I come to you. Hey, this is my issue. My doctor said I got to do this. And you folk, you give them an overall workout, but you focus on certain areas and right. have certain machines Abs- that do certain individualized. Things. Absolutely. And uh, the equipment's uh, you can isometric. So like you can like break down like to work on one specific mm-hmm. muscle group or whatever. So pretty cool. Mm. Pretty cool. Sounds pretty good. And I saw you have that um, that screen. What is it called? The well, we It's like the, a mirror? Yeah, we have the mirror. We have the Peloton. The Peloton, uh, too. We also have uh, Norma Tech recovery equipment. I think you mentioned you may want to come in and do that. Correct. You can come in Correct. and do that. You can come, just hit me up. And come oh, okay, that. okay. But that gets a last. What's the perks on that? So you get like a muscles get sore you build up lactic acid in your muscles or whatever from working out and that just squeezes it out and pushes all the lactic acid out makes you less sore when you work out so we have that a lot of professional athletes use that but i mean now you got my six-year-old clients that use that as well but pretty cool good good stuff and and, uh did you did you have to invest into all this or did it come with the company like whenever you bought it Oh, I, I bought all of it. you bought all that stuff new like not new but in terms of after you bought the company like did you just buy the company, like the name, the lease, the clients, or uh, did it come with like? You know, um, it came with the equipment. Uh, we've always wanted to uh, franchise this uh, Plus 40 mm-hmm. Fitness out. So uh, that was uh, my main goal when I first started. I wanted to put it here, Austin, blah, 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 okay. San Antonio, stuff like that. So I already, so as soon as I see this equipment, I try to buy it, and then I'm going to do another location. So right now I'm in the process of purchasing another set of equipment for our new location oh, and that's hopefully in the woodlands here in the next uh, two or three months oh nice wow congrats that's good and and i like that you continue to scale and that's your goal like you're not staying like okay i'm comfortable here like it's like i want more Absolutely. I, I, I want more i want to help more people i want to bring this to other areas that don't have this type of facilities which is i'm guessing that that's really what it is that's it um so woodlands uh i don't think there's anything like that over there and um that's a there's hundreds of gyms over there i'm sure but we don't have there's nothing like what i'm offering over so there. is it like a combination of like uh like a like a gym and uh like uh physical training is it like a combination of that like where you do uh strength training you know like you go and work out as like as a regular workout but then you also have like specialized uh physical training for like um specialized like maybe i have like a bad shoulder or like i have a bad knee right um to prevent further injury absolutely we're a one-stop uh, health and wellness studio so i mean like we were talking about our individual mm-hmm. for sure like mm-hmm. if you have any injuries you sign the paperwork you talk to me about it and, like we'll, uh, i've we'll done um, i've done all of them like i've done you know pt from knee surgeries and like you go there and it's like super specialized to like that specific joint right and then you go to like commercial gyms and then they have like you can do whatever you want just don't right. bother me right <laughs> right or you go to like something smaller like a group class and then you do what they're doing but it's not specialized it's just a group class like jump in into this specialized workout and this is all uh, moderation so like whatever you can or what your limits mm-hmm. can proceed to do so mm-hmm. and do you do like uh, if somebody's new and they want to come check it out do you give like a one day free class or anything like that For sure. you, know, you can do the personal training uh, for free you do uh, that the, first, the first time okay just okay. check it out i want everyone to come check out the place i'll give you a tour talk to you about your yeah we'll, and your we'll definitely goals. check check it out for sure um so yeah so we're in we're like entrepreneurs as well and uh we're always looking at different businesses to either buy um what would you be what would you recommend like or what has been your experience from you buying a business uh have you ever started a business from like zero or have you ever thought about that? Like, what would be the difference between you buying in rather than, like, saying, oh, I'm going to start a gym and then let me th- figure out how to do that? Right. So I have, I've always been interested in starting startup businesses as well. So uh, we actually, uh, I don't know if you all know about the new Montgomery County Food Hall. Oh, yeah, yes, the Mocha Hall. Down here. Mm-hmm. So, like, I originally had a juice bar idea when I was running for politics out here. We, uh, we bought the name. We were going to do the first all natural juice bar in Conroe and we were going to do that but just I got super busy and decided to do the political thing and we didn't go with that that avenue but uh that's another thing I'd like to I'm interested in doing that with my fiance we'd like to do that and Mm -hmm. so we'll see if that goes it's on the to-do list it's on the to-do list for sure but like I'm always interested in other businesses other startup businesses as well 
It doesn't have to be a gym, just right. whatever uh, we can do, like, like to be the first in the, the area. For correct, sure. correct. And you want to stay within that fitness type. No, or yeah. health or right. That uh, yeah, that's the original plan. So you're not gonna go out and like start a trucking company, or unless well, well, maybe, whatever, what, whatever. Uh, we okay, are okay, looking okay. at. Uh, so uh, you like? I mean, you're you're open to and, yeah, that, and your a, goals are to yeah, any business you want to get with into. Some property as well, okay. property stuff like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. diversify your uh, portfolio. Your portfolio, sure. portfolio. Absolutely, yeah. guys, uh, Different businesses, you know, because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Then it's like. What if COVID happens, you know, again, or something different, like monkeypox or something? <laughs> right. So, like, uh, the gym, will, especially mine, uh, being a little different, uh, the gym, uh, when I uh, say, uh, let's see, uh, depression or uh, something with the economy goes mm-hmm. down, take, I mean, they're going to cancel their gym. Right. Sure. The gym right. Sure That's like one the of the first ones mm-hmm. to go down. So. Uh, that always makes me nervous. Is so that just because you feel like it's a commodity? And they're like, okay, for, I'm, I'm going right. through hard, so I don't need that right now. Right. And especially with the rates that they have to pay for me or whatever, like, I'm like, I'm not $10 a month, so. <laughs> You're not, so yeah, Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness. fitness. Uh, we, we, we won't mention them, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's a little different. So I'm always get, I always get nervous about right. how the economy's going and where we're going. I think that. we all do. So. I think in general we all do because we kind of, de- not depend, but, I mean, that is who, who we look out for. For no matter what our business is, w- we need the consumers, Perhaps. right? So whatever it is. So I, I, I like that you and I do remember when you moved over there and you were promoting it. It was like through COVID. Um, so as an entrepreneur, what, 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 what do you do? Like, are you, do you find other ways? Did you do online stuff? Did you, what, what, what goes through your mind through that? Because so, I, mean, I, so I had some great clients and I would just tell them, hey, I'm going to work out at this time. If anyone wants to join me, you can come. And it, I mean. That's what we do in 2020. Do. We do what we got to do to get right, it done. Right. So. And, and that facility that you're in, is it all wellness? Because I know I, at first when I drove, when I would drive by there at first, I thought it was like, you know, like suites, like any other shopping center. But that one, you have to go into the building and then there's different. Right. 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 So we're all um, uh, health and wellness there. We have a chiropractor, uh, family first urgent care, Robert's pharmacy, uh, some other uh hypnosis stuff all kind of cr- uh, stuff like that i'm the gym upstairs uh, but it's all health and wellness up there and uh, we all promote each other and seems to be, uh, seems to be pretty good uh, relationship it's like a win-win for everybody absolutely right? yeah, that's that's awesome. if i can't do something maybe they can do something for you or whatever and vice versa like that that's good that's good so earlier you said you got into politics so what what got you started there what what oh the, uh, i ran in 2020 uh, i wanted to be the uh I, first hispanic representing representative on the uh city council we've never had one in conroe oh. history and we're 40 percent hispanic so you do the math on that right it's time we need someone up right uh, right so, right. so uh, i'm also when i ran the first time i was probably 30 years younger than anyone else so i mean try to bring some new ideas to the mix uh we have uh more new people in conroe now than we do old people older people that have been mm-hmm. here a long time so uh i was like they don't know the old conroe group as much as mm-hmm. Maybe. The new people, they don't like know the anyone. new they and up and coming. Right, they don't know anyone either. So I was like, well, let's give this a shot. And, you know, just wanted to give people a chance to uh, see that they could be represented and, like, have them a voice in their community and stuff like that. Correct, so correct. That was I, the plan. That's good. And I, as I talk to people, I think I hear that a lot, that, you know, we are growing as his, Hispanics in the community, right? So we need, you know, div- to diversify the the you know who's in office as well because that i mean that that it's a win-win for everybody no matter what but like you said you're younger so you bring new ideas so you you decided to run and um i don't know much about that you know politics or anything like that but so when you decide to run you just go you fill out something you you like hey i'm ready do you go through classes do you do you have to be a certain tier so you just go and uh you sign up at the city hall or whatever and um that that's all you gotta do just easy as that process and um I uh, gained a lot of uh, knowledge, met a lot of uh, cool people over the thing. But the coolest thing for me was beating the citizens of Conroe. The, when I ran, it was during the pandemic. Correct. So uh, our election is supposed to be in May, pushed it to November. So another, that was like Few six, more months. Probably six months for people to get to know me. But I mean, it was just a never ending process. Mm-hmm. Like it was a year process of running for politics so how many people run is it w- for one position or you said city council right, right. so three there's a five five spots there's uh, five whatever spots? i think three come open every two years or something oh, okay. like that so uh, the guy i ran against the first time i didn't know he was the most like he had been here for 50 years mm-hmm. laid out the 
every con every road here and stuff like that so his name was already out there mm-hmm. i didn't i'm young and naive i just thought i could run right and whatever right so he got the most votes than anyone but we had a uh, how many people 4,500 people voted for me. Nice. Uh, first time ever. No one knew me. I beat the guy. I had more votes than the person who was holding the office at the moment. So that so that was a cool win oh, well, for me right good. there. There you go. And uh, this last time we had five people in, five people ran in this open seat last time, and uh, I had no help. I never have any help. No campaign managers. No. I just do it with uh, just my your uh, core group. My core group, and I don't have any mm-hmm. support. Do you have to raise money for for it, or do you? pay out of pocket for all the print all the right. all, all the so, so you have a, you have like a fundraising stuff like that and um do you go and ask people for money or do you uh, yeah uh, you it's very it? awkward and right. uh, i don't like to do that so <clears throat> but uh, it's not for your benefit right it's it's how i mean every politician does that um like you have all these major politicians they go around and they you know they do fundraising and then they ask people for for money essentially that's what they do they do it in a different and more eloquent eloquent way right. but right so um, uh, so this time that, that i this is my second go around so i'm a little smarter in the game about that stuff. So i think i have personally spent out of my own wallet probably 500 bucks but i mean we raised five thousand or something mm-hmm. like that on my own but uh my opponent one of my opponents they did a hundred thousand right a um, hundred thousand for the city of conroe uh race man which is a crazy number um the job pays probably thirty thousand, and they spent a hundred to get right. this job. Just so, just to put that out there, man. Like, yeah. Uh, well, it's. I mean, not to. I mean, this gets into like the whole politic uh, debate of like these positions, right? You have, and not just here in city council, but in you know, in the higher federal level, you have these people going in, and then their salaries are like eighty thousand, a hundred thousand, but then they end up leaving that position worth like hundred million dollars later and it's like how did you go from making a hundred thousand a year to now being a net worth whenever you're leaving five years later of like a hundred million dollars right so you have a lot of influence and and like power right that that comes with the position not just the salary i will say ever since i ran uh we probably have a the election ended may 7th and i've had 25 new clients since that so like my name is known Right, through, correct through that, and like I always push the brand plus forty fitness on everything yes. we do. So like, uh, I mean, it can't help. But right, yeah, I've seen you your um, I've seen your marketing, and it's uh, it's all organic, right? You don't do you do paid ads or do, is it all organic? All like no people, paid, right. no paid ads, is pretty organic stuff. That's good. Mm-hmm. So you have like this other guy, this other opponent with a hundred thousand dollars, and he let's say he does all organic plus. Let's say he puts in about thirty thousand of that into ads. You know, he's so the numbers are going to be yeah. against yeah, you. Sure. Yeah, every time you open up, it's there. Right, yeah. you're going to yeah. do yeah. organic, maybe like ten thousand impressions, which is like people seeing you, and he's going to do a million impressions. You're you're going to get beat, right? Because uh, of the numbers just, are just, just outweighing you. In the you. name of the correct, oh, man, correct. he must not. He must have some support if you see it every right. time you open the thing. But I have people talk to me about algorithms and stuff like that hey we see you every time we open up right. the facebook yeah I, like. I was seeing that so um i mean yeah i just, organic do, it, I just do it organically mm-hmm. on my own so. organic's always going to uh be better than than ads but ads are going to push your numbers way uh, out there in terms of like the thousands and hundreds of thousands uh, right. but you have to have the budget for that and it seems like he had yeah the budget against you and that would probably be something that that might have changed the things if you a if little you bit had of course. That same budget. Right, right. So you know we um, how many like seven hundred. We had seven hundred votes this time for just uh, between five of us. So and I got seven hundred votes or whatever. And I was really close to making this runoff. So if you get into the, the runoff mm-hmm. or whatever, you have to get fifty percent of the vote, forty nine percent of the vote or wh- whatever it is to get into office. So no one had it because there were five of us in the race, right? Mm-hmm. So then it goes to a runoff whatever mm-hmm. but i had 700 with no help and uh i was one vote away from getting the police endorsement the guy who is in the office now got it and i was like one i lost three to two so if i would have got that endorsement then that the, i feel like i would have got the fire endorsement as well so then i could have been i mean mm-hmm. i would have been right. in the mix for sure and, and when you do stuff like that um what what do you tell these people i mean they want they'll have to be able to s- believe what you're what you're saying right or like what what you believe what you what you're bringing to the table like hey i'm brandon and i'm bringing this 
I'm offering this. My goals are this. This is what I'm going to do, right? And they have to be able to be attracted to you at that way to be like, okay, I'm going to endorse you or I'm going to back you up. Is that so how I that would, works? Absolutely. So I would, uh, I'm going to be for the people every time that I ran, like I don't, I'm not uh, supported by, like you don't have, I'm not a puppet to anyone. So right, like right. no one's, I'm not a yes man for anyone. If I'm the odd man in a vote, I mean, it's for the people. I, that's who I would vote for every time. So uh, that's what a lot of people like that. And I mean, us trying to keep our taxes low and being a small businessman like myself, right. that's what I would, that's what I would try to push every time. Small business, this small business, small business task force. All of us trying to get together other, with other small business owners to try to get some solutions mm -hmm. and help each other out. And that's right. what I was trying to do to promote more small business so that everyone could be their own boss and not just work for the, to have their, work the for a nine to five. The right. man, the man, right. absolutely. So right. I was, that's what I was trying to get done man so do you see yourself doing running again uh you know what uh right now i don't see myself running for city conroe uh city council anymore. what would that be 2024 is the next one 2024 is the next one i uh, i don't see uh i don't see me doing it again mm -hmm. man so well, there's uh, some other things maybe down the line i could do something else but correct correct but overall it helped you right because you said you got to meet a lot of people you got to network you got to connect with a lot of people so overall absolutely i got all awesome these, experience i got all uh i got all these uh great leaders in our community's numbers on my phone now man if i mm -hmm. need anything i can just call and ask these guys this like, i got made some great connections business-wise so uh right the city of conroe is a fairly small community in terms of who's out there um like who's doing what right like you have like uh like i was i was helping in the cdaa i don't know if you know yep. With that, yeah, I, I was helping them that doing their their branding and their um, helping them like align to like what is it that they want in terms of how to help the community, and it seems like all these people there, um, they were the leaders of certain things, and like together they were like pretty much all of Conroe, and it's and it wasn't it wasn't a lot of people, and you would think oh Conroe is pretty big, like there has to be like thousands of people like each of them specialize in what they do but now it's like it's only a handful of people that right. that not control like control but like have a say in 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 what happens here so what do we have a hundred thousand people here now uh population probably and how many people went to vote five thousand in this election right. so that th that five thousand controls the entire uh i mean yeah, hundred thousand yeah. people here. So I always support uh tell people to go out and vote i mean let your voice be heard even right. if you don't know anything about just do your research on the the and uh, what like kind that. of um, what kind of issues uh, does does Conroe or the city of Con uh, the or the city council can um, can help with or like what kind of power do they have that, uh, so, uh, that if you would have won you could have done something different or what? It's a lot of it's a lot of budget stuff, um, but uh, they control eighty five percent of the of your taxes. Like a lot of people don't talk about that, but like. The city council controls mm -hmm. your local taxes or whatever. So, oh, wow. so that those are it's very important to have those people into who you want in that mix. But a lot of people don't even know that. So. Correct, correct. So I think what would be the idea? Just continue to share, continue to just let people know. I mean, a hundred thousand and only five thousand went to to vote. That's or, or whatever the yeah whatever that number was. It was really low. I mean, it's really minus. low, really right. low. But uh, yeah, we have the city council meetings every uh, or not every but twice a month mm -hmm. wednesday's a workshop and thursday's a meeting i encourage everyone to go out and get involved uh, i'd like for you guys to come out right. there i went to the last one or whatever but i mean yeah anybody can go right anyone anybody can, can go, go if, and, and if you don't want to go you can watch it online the yeah. city of or whatever mm -hmm. so okay. pretty interesting so at least you can find out what's going on i mean right. do you guys know about that new hotel they're trying to build over yeah there? So, yeah so, so whenever cool. i was part of the cd i was never a member i was like more of like a consultant <laughs> Uh, trying to help them like align uh, I got to understand like what was happening like the mocha food hall like all the bars that opened up what they're trying to do with the alleyways you know all these cool ideas that you're like oh wow it, it, it like brings you hope uh, for Conroe in terms of like how it's developing um, because like you and I we went to U of H right and we know how like Montrose and the Heights and like all these areas right. are like wow like those are cool areas, and like Conroe is like just a. There's nothing here, right? Like ten right. years ago, downtown Conroe was just all lawyers, all. 
So right. I met my uh, fiance a couple of years ago, and she lives in Missouri City and the Sugar Land and all that stuff right there. So uh, I told her about. So she saw that Conroe, and she thinks it's like a, just a small time small, situation. Old, old a couple of horses out here and stuff <laughs> like that. That's what she tells me. And, uh, but she's seen the she sees the where it's going tension. and where it's going. So so right. I think it does it does benefit to go there, especially if you're a business owner, because like I didn't know about this hotel. But if you know things that are going on as a business owner, you're like, okay, now maybe I can start think, taking my business here, right. or there's now going to be in five years they're building here, so maybe I can put a location there, Absolutely. or maybe you Absolutely. know, like you said, you wanted to be the first. Why not open the business, or why not buy the business in a growing town? So right. I think that is interesting for people to actually go, especially as anybody and everybody, so you know what's going on in your city, but as a business owner, entrepreneur, so you know what's coming, what's up and coming roads and and things like that absolutely and right absolutely. uh we have the impact is it the impact community uh, newspaper and in there they lay out pretty much all the projects that are going to happen within the next couple years and they say oh this road is going to take 12 million dollars to build like that and then uh, this other road that's happening over here is going to take another eight million dollars does the city council uh decide like where those projects are going to happen right and who are the people that are getting those projects so if it's like a local that. business out here or whatever so i mean they the city council decides all that kind of stuff and in their meetings is it like a voting thing so yeah there's five chairs you yeah. said so five it's chairs like in the mayor's spot so yeah um so from what i understood from the cda is that there's all these projects that are trying to get to the cda i mean to the city of Con the city council, council? yeah, yeah. And like the CDAA, they they are um, helping the businesses of of downtown Conroe. And they say to this to the city of C council, like, hey, we have these projects, like which one can we do or which one would be the most uh, uh, beneficial or to they the city, yeah right to the city right. or even they present it and say this project right here would be the best for the city. Here's the layout, the, co the contractors, you know, all this like. And then they would, they would get it approved or whatever the process is, right? Right. So like that, uh, that new Hyatt hotel that we're mm -hmm. having. What does it cost? Hundred million dollars or right. whatever, right? But I mean, it's gonna bring with all those people staying there, all the people, and then they could do other stuff with the Correct. businesses while they're here. You mm -hmm. could have conventions there, stuff like that, weddings, whatever. I mean, right. so I mean, and that's more traffic flow for any business, for, for any business in that area or surrounding areas. In Conroe, for sure. Yeah, because so bring more people mm -hmm. here. They the, the yeah because that hotel is gonna they're gonna decide like oh do they go to uh, the Woodlands Waterway and and like spend their money there or do they go to downtown Conroe right uh, and spend their money there so that's where we're trying to oh not we but downtown Conroe is trying to uh, well I'm part you of you are it. we there you go you're so part of us <laughs> you're part of it yeah. Yeah. so um, it. they're trying to you know bring up Conroe downtown Conroe uh, so we get those customers. You know. Yeah, we're in a pretty good uh, location. What are we, three hours from Dallas, uh, a couple hours, a few mm -hmm. hours away from Austin. So we're not in the traffic of Houston, man. Correct. And when we have right. the Lake Conroe out here, we Correct. have like a natural forest as well. And I mean, we got cool stuff going on downtown. So why wouldn't you want to come to right. Conroe? Man? Yeah, right. so that's right. interesting. Okay, so yeah, I understand your position of why you were running and how you, how you did that. Um, did you see anything like weird, like in terms of like, uh, like you saw, oh, okay, there's just no way to beat this guy because he's been there for like 50 years and, you know, like, you know, oh, the first time yeah. I ran? Oh, um, yeah. Was it like, you know, yeah, that was a learning experience right there. But, uh, you know, I've become, um, there was a big, uh, we had this big uh, event we were at, and like I got to sit at the, I sat at his table. Like we're friends and whatever mm -hmm. now, and like I become friends with most of these guys that we run against. So like I've one of them is my client now working out with me. Oh, okay. Nice. For that he ran against me. Like, mm -hmm. At the months. time, is it kind of like you don't really talk like while the is it like a boxing match where you like don't talk until after the after the fight? Right, <laughs> right. I just promote myself in the business and right, what right. my ideas were <coughs> to differ differentiate with me from the other guys but yeah but now i mean i don't know i i talked to two or three of them against the opponents but i mean some just disappeared man so i don't know right right and uh at this level in terms of like city council is it is it 
divided as it is the federal level? Is it like liberals and <laughs> conservative, or is it just like well, everyone wears their conservative hat out here in Montgomery County? Mm-hmm. But um, mm-hmm. it is definitely uh, divided. The city oh, council. It? It's old Conroe versus new Conroe. That's ever since I've got in the mix. That's always what it's been. Uh, the old Conroe's back in power now. They have three votes to two, probably in every thing that we vote they vote on so but it's not like liberal values versus conservative no. values it's more like conservative everyone puts on the hat but i mean but then it's like <laughs> you have this new progressive not in terms of like the progressive values but like this new uh conroe like you said and then this old conroe and what you mean by that is like old conroe is the people that have been doing it for a long time right and they don't want to give up any power or let some new guy just walk in here and correct, take correct. it right so why would they want to lose power but i was always trying to i get along with the old connor right. and the new connor correct, so like correct. i'm trying to bridge that gap right. so and the difference all, i think we oh work God. together the difference was like what you were saying was the the new connor is like the new ideas the up and coming we got to do this we can do this we can you know this this is better for everybody right right compared to like no just, well, i think we're friends. good right. i think yeah. everything looks good we should keep it like this we're safe everybody's good absolutely i think the uh, mayor has done a nice job yes. of uh shaping a moving us in the right direction forward so. correct, correct. And you're always going to have the resistance of like why are you making this why are you breaking what how did tradition you, right yeah, yeah why yeah. are you breaking tradition or why are you fixing something that's not broken right um and then you're going to have this resistance of like if you change this it's going to bring in more people more traffic like there's right? always more that violence more this more right yeah, there's always that uh that resistance of like don't bring in more people because then there's going to be more traffic right but there's always a positive to that right like more people brings up the value of your property um brings up brings new businesses it up the yeah. economy for sure and more people can do their own business and just everyone eats a little right. bit right not just correct. one particular group so correct correct and i think i've noticed that at first for for so many years when i kept hearing conroe's growing i stay within this area right downtown 105 here and then as i continue to like spread out right so like league line all that back there's a bunch of roads a bunch of neighborhoods back there 242 still considered conroe mm-hmm. right all that back area right. so i'm like i would see that the core i'm like conroe it looks looks the same to me but as i go into these other i'm like man there's a bunch of neighborhoods back here there's a bunch of new buildings a bunch of building like, all the time over here man uh, cutting down trees that's a big deal when they're running for city council right. they don't want you to cut down trees but i mean how can we bring the new stuff in so you got to plant trees correct. here so, correct. That's, so that's a big deal as well the trees yeah. ordinances the pine trees like that. yeah that's, that's yeah, a big deal city, it's a big yeah, pine trees. the city of Conroe is known for his trees right that's right. that's literally that's logo. in the logo right, right? For so sure. it's like you cut all those down it's just going to be a they're going to change the logo to a concrete that, <laughs> oh there <laughs> you go <laughs> oh, we can't have that right yeah. Yeah. No. Definitely can't have that. So you got new things coming up. Um, um, hopefully all that works out for you in the Woodlands area. Oh, thank you. And all that. Wish you all that. And, um, I mean, I, I was, in my opinion, I mean, you went through all that. But 20, 2024, hey, you should be out there, man, grinding, man. Well, well, maybe, Continue yeah. to sp- maybe continue. I'll throw my name in the mayor's race this time, right? Right. There you uh, go. I'm just joking. <laughs> right? No, no yeah, but, I mean, I, 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 like I said, I'm not so – uh, I don't follow the politics much. I don't know much. I've learned a lot today, mm-hmm. but uh, but I think that's good, man. You would represent small businesses and you resp- represent the Hispanic communities as well. Uh, we well, represent all the communities, right? But but um, but I, I would say go go in there and just continue to 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 do your thing and and probably make a change for everybody out there. Yeah, because we need. Uh, there's always a need for people to 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 not be the people that we are. Right. We always need the person to step up and do like uh, run for politics. We need the people that are going to be the police. We're going to need the people that need to be the mayors. And uh, some of us like won't ever do it, but we need those people that will. Um, And you're one of those like you're stepped up once, twice, you know, the third. What do they say? The third's the charm. charm. There you go. Maybe so. man. Sounds good. Anything else you want to share with us? You know, just uh, guys, you can check out our website, plus-40-fitness.com. Uh, we're just a different uh, gym than your regular gyms, uh, more of a family-type feel than, uh, in a community than uh, being lost in a shovel of a big gym. And uh, any ga- anytime you guys want to come check us out, man, uh, just let me know. Man. What's the phone number? 936-827-2258. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I remember that because he always says it in his videos. Right. But there you go, Instagram, 
uh, Brandon for Con- Brandon Polk for Conroe Polk Plus Forty Fitness Plus Forty Fitness Facebook all that they can reach out and find you there absolutely and uh, man I enjoyed being here with you guys this morning and I awesome. love the podcast love what you guys are doing thank you we'll definitely have to have you back again absolutely yeah, and cover other stuff all right guys thanks everybody for stopping by please share uh, tag some friends and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>